Hey friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead and today I'm going to show you how I make a really easy Salisbury steak in your crock pot. So let's get busy. I am back and I am going to show you how I make my Salisbury steaks in my slow cooker. This is easy, a little tedious to put together, but it, it is easy to make and the slow cooker does the rest. So, in here, in my glass bowl, I've got two pounds of ground round. Of course, that's what I use. Anyway, to that I'm going to add uh, half a cup of my Italian breadcrumbs, and those are my homemade ones with the little Italian seasoning in them. Okay. And then I'm going to put a quarter cup of milk in here. And I'm going to cheat because I'm out of my onion soup mix. And I'm going to use a packet of this. Now this I bought at Meyer or not Meyer. I got this at a grocery store. It was on sale two boxes for a buck. So that isn't too bad. So it's 25 cents. So I got that. And then I'm going to put one egg in here. And I beat the egg a little bit. I beat it up a little bit before I put it in there. Okay. Now with that, we're just going to get our hands in here. Get this all mixed up, just like you'd be mixing up a meatloaf, friends. This stuff is wonderful. And then I got my, my fry pan going over here, because we're going to have to dredge these in a little flour and brown it up. And I got that on low so the oil doesn't start doesn't burn in it. Now with my oil I only put a couple of tablespoons in there because I don't want this real greasy. I don't want it fried in grease. I just want to brown them for my crock pot. So okay see I got that all mixed up real good and that egg will help bind it all together because nothing worse than having Salisbury steak all crumbly and falling apart. And I find if you put that egg in there that helps hold it together real well. Okay, so we are going to make patties out of these. Nice size patties. I just go all the way around them. Make them real nice. Okay? And then I've got in here, I've got a quarter cup of flour. And we're just going to dredge this in the flour all around the sides. And we're going to lay it right in the frying pan. And then we're going to go to the next. This makes a nice little meal. And then I'm going to serve this over mashed potatoes. And we're going to have a little peas with it. How nice. Nice, easy meal. All right, there's that. And you just, you don't cook them all the way, just enough to brown them. And then they'll stay real nice in your slow cooker. that one around the edges and put it in there now when I get all these patted up and in there then I'll turn it up a little you might have to do these in batches and that's exactly what I'm going to do do a couple batches so I'll show you how I fry them up so that you know okay so there's the, the first four. Got my little spatula here. My stove is crooked. My stove isn't level, so everything wings. But there's those. And I'm going to finish patting these up. Why those are frying. Now with this recipe, my recipe, it calls for um, a packet of the au jus, the dry au jus mix. Well, I'm not spending that kind of money. And you'll see, I made a, I did a video showing you how to make that yourself. And I'll tell you what, it does save a lot of money. Just like the onion soup mix. 
I did a video on, you know, dry onion soup mix. And it does save money and it's nice. I just ran out. That's all. So, and then when I saw that on sale, I thought, what the heck? That's still the savings. So I grabbed it just for times like this. Okay, so we got that all padded up. Get all the crumbs out of my bowl. Those are looking good. Okay. All right, now I can get rid of my gloves. It's be such a big mess. Okay, and then these I'm just simply going to brown these on both sides. I can turn that up just a little bit now because that one isn't really brown enough. So I'm not going to flip the others. You don't have to season these anymore. You've already got all your seasoning in them. They're really good. You just continue like that. You get them nice and brown. I turned that up. You don't want too much oil in your pan because you just don't want them greasy in your in your crock pot. They won't turn out good. So make sure you watch that video on the au jus, uh, the dry au jus mix. It's really easy to put together. It's incredibly easy to put together, and it saves you. A nice chunk of change especially if you use it a lot and you, know, you can also use it in, in many dishes it's good in a roast and everything so I thought you know that's gonna be a good video to make all right let's see if these are ready to flip yet because I don't want to cook them I just want to brown them yep that one's brown okay that one's brown and that one's brown all right this one might be brown on the other side now. I don't know. Nope, not yet. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to brown them up. I don't want to beat them up because I don't want them broke up. And when those are all browned and I'm ready to put them in the crock pot, I'll be back and I'll show you that step. But just make sure they're brown. That's it. They don't have to cook all the way through. I'll be back. Hey, friends. I'm back. And you see those are done. So I have the other ones in my crock pot. And I'm going to stack these right on top of them because you want them stacked almost like a little pyramid. Okay, and I'll show you. Okay, that's going to sit over there. Okay, see those? Those are all stacked real nice in there. I'll set that aside and then I'm going to show you my next step. I got a bowl. Get my stuff here. So, in this bowl, I'm going to take, and I'm going to mix two cans of cream of chicken soup. Or one large can. Whichever you have, doesn't matter. Two small or one large. That's going in there. And this is going in there. I don't waste any of it. I always get these on sale. Okay, so I got those in there. Let me move this so you can see a little better. There we go. Okay, and with that, this is my, uh, my au jus mix. And I'm going to do four and a half teaspoons of this in with this. There's one, two, that's equivalent to a package. Three, four, and a half. All right. And then we are going to have 
three quarter cups of water. Okay, now we are going to mix this all together really good in here. Get it mixed up real good in there. In fact, I think I'm going to use my whisk. That would be right here. Okay, let's we'll just whisk this together real good. All right, I'm going to bring these back over here. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. You're just going to pour this right on top of the burger, right on top of everything. Make sure you scrape your bowl out. You don't want to waste any of this. This is good stuff. Okay. That's simple. Now you don't have to add, you notice I didn't add any salt to this. You don't have to add any salt because the, ch the chicken soup, the cream of chicken soup, is very salty itself. So that'll be enough salt for the whole dish. And all the other spices are in the au jus mix and in the onion soup packet. So, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in a slow cooker sleeve, I'm going to turn it on low for about four to five hours, and I'm going to serve it over mashed potatoes with some peas on the side. So when it's done, I will show you how it looks. Okay, my friends, there is your Salisbury steak with my side of peas over mashed potatoes. It's steaming and it's wonderful and it really was fairly easy to make. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. I'm going to go enjoy dinner.